All right, now, in 1946, I got out of the Army, and my father owned the uh, Ram's Head Inn out on Long Island. So I decided to spend the winter alone out there. And <laughs> if you know Ram Island, uh, there's nobody who lives there in the wintertime, and you can't get over to Shelter Island. It floods over. So I found about 50 cans of kennel ration and some cocktail frankfurters, and there was a lot of spaghetti down in the basement. And that's what I lived on for uh, the, entire, the entire winter. Now, while I was out there, I switched over from painting uh, to become a designer, and I started designing. When I came back, I, I got a hold of uh, Doug Kelly and Ross Littell, and we talked the Kelly family into building a glass and steel house up in Buffalo, which was absolute insanity. Uh, but they agreed to do it. Now, this was the same time that uh, uh, Johnson, Philip, uh, Philip Johnson, was doing his glass house. Now, the difference is, is this glass, the six by 12 feet of sheet glass, this is not, this is not even quarter inch plate. This is absolutely illegal. Uh, I mean, if a bird would ever to hit that thing, it would fracture and probably kill somebody. The reason I'm showing you this is that this is insanity. And uh, now, it got so damn cold that winter that we used to go outside to warm up. Uh, I mean, there's no insulation value whatsoever. Uh, now, uh, we, when we dressed for dinner, it was usually three sweaters and an overcoat. But they loved the house. They loved the house. And uh, we uh, enjoyed it for years. Now, I gave a talk up in Buffalo uh, last year. So I decided to go out and see how the house was doing. And I couldn't find the house. And I, I stopped the farmer and I said, where the hell is the glass house that used to be here? He said, oh, it's over, it's over there. So he took me around the corner and somebody had bought this thing. And then they built a beautiful, a colonial American house and they completely incorporated it uh, around this glass house. And it was a gorgeous idea. I mean, I wasn't shocked at all. It was terribly good. Uh, then it dawned on me, oh, this is what Gary did. I mean, Gary bought a house in California for his wife, and then he built that damn glass thing all around the house. So I, I thought it was perfectly beautiful. They thought I'd be upset, and I told them, it's a perfect idea. It's a perfect solution. So they walk out. Now, uh, let's get to the next slide. Now, of course, we had to do some furniture for that. Now, this is the furniture I designed for the house. Uh, can we, this is the chair and marble table. And I, this uh, was the, now you remember, this was my Mesian period. Uh, now, uh, the three-legged chair and the other chairs were all accepted at the Museum of Modern Art uh, as permanent. Now, this chair, Florence Knoll, was on the committee for selection. And she said, I don't want this chair in the Museum of Modern Art. And I said, why not? She said, it's a copy of the Barcelona chair. And I said, Florence, the Barcelona is a double cantilever, and this is post lintel What the hell's wrong with you? She said, I don't care. I don't care. It's a copy. And it's not going in the museum. So it never went in the museum. I like this chair. Did you get the next one? No. Uh, there's the furniture that was designed for now. Uh, that ha it looked gorgeous in the house. Now, when Mies uh, had his lakeshore opening for the, his famous towers, I was up there in his apartment, and we were talking, and he said, you know, you're more Miesian than I am. Uh, it, this is all straight lines. It's all orthogonal. There are no diagonals, there are no curves. And uh, he enjoyed it. He enjoyed it very much. So, next line. All right, now we're on to carbon fiber and fabric. The entire structure is carbon fiber and fabric. That's it. Now, next slide. Here is what a roof looks like. Now, that's tons of water up there uh, in a space truss. Next slide. Now, this is how it works, all right? Uh, it's not that complicated. Uh, you, that grain on top, that's water sitting on top of the truss. And then that's the second, that's the algae in the second category. Now you can see what happens. Once we slip uh, an envelope of plastic over the truss and suck the air out, then uh, you have this sort of situation. 
Now we put the, we put the, uh, oh, oh, okay. What do you got? Okay. Uh, if you don't have water on top of the truss, it's not fireproof, all right? So you can't really do it. Uh, the other problem is ultraviolet degradation. Any plastic, with the exception of what the Israelis have, they have something that'll last for about 20 years and cost about, uh, I don't know, $175 for a square foot of it. This stuff is just simple, simple vinyl. vinyl. <coughs> now, there's a blowtorch on the wall. If you, just, you don't believe me, that's a blowtorch. Uh, all we did was boil the wall. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. That, now, this is, this is gorgeous. This is a piece of sculpture, but that's not sculpture. Uh, there we store, you can store 30 or 40 gallons of fresh water in that sculpture. Uh, that's, you know, these bottles they bring to the office and they turn upside down and you drink from, that's what it is. This was the first house. Uh, uh, now, go ahead, keep going. Jerry Pratt uh, liked this. Uh, we, we did this over in the uh, chemistry building. Jerry came over and uh, he was standing there when the whole thing burst. And he was in water up to his knees. Now, here it is. This is, this is the wall, and this is what's carrying the, the algae. Uh, so uh, these are, so you, we're back to the classical oxygen again, but those vertical things back there are all uh, the, well, it's biofuel. This is the, the columns that are part of the solar and polar ponds. Now, can we get to those? Keep going, just go fast. All right, here's the algae. Uh, we, it, now, these are the water things. Uh, we, the carbon fiber frame is like a, a, an umbrella. It just comes to the site. It opens up. Uh, then you put the bags over it. Keep going. There's a cross section. Uh, you can see that, uh, again, there's the top roof. Keep going. Uh, here's the solar and the polar pond. If you don't have that, in other words, uh, you, the polar pond, is, you have to freeze. Uh, tons of water, brine, but now here's the inside. This is, this is what it's like inside, and this will come in at about $15,000 to make an entire environment this way. And we intend to uh, put it in places very much like strip mines, but the first application will be around uh, water processing plants where people don't want to be. Uh, and this will be a complete environment. <laughs>